Mars, the fourth rock from the Sun, is a barren and harsh environment. One of the biggest challenges for human habitation is the lack of breathable air. The Martian atmosphere consists mostly of carbon dioxide, a far cry from the life-sustaining oxygen we're accustomed to on Earth. So, how will humans get oxygen on Mars? Although there is some oxygen on Mars, it is not nearly enough for you to simply walk outside and breathe. 95% of the atmosphere on Mars is made up of carbon dioxide, with trace amounts of nitrogen and argon. However, CO2 is still abundant, and aside from dirt, it's likely the most abundant resource on Mars. NASA's Perseverance rover uses a technique called MOXIE, which has been demonstrated for the first time. Imagine this, extracting oxygen not from traditional sources but from the very carbon dioxide that fills the Martian atmosphere. And guess what? MOXIE has done it for the very first time in the history of space exploration. MOXIE made history by proving that we can extract oxygen directly from Martian carbon dioxide. MOXIE is like a green thumb for Mars. It's designed to convert carbon dioxide, which makes up about 95% of the Martian atmosphere, into oxygen. Think of it as a futuristic, space-age botanical garden that turns thin Martian air into life-sustaining oxygen. MOXIE uses a process called solid oxide electrolysis. It takes carbon dioxide from the Martian atmosphere, separates the oxygen, and releases the carbon monoxide byproduct back into the atmosphere. It's a game-changer for future human exploration and potential colonization. If NASA wants to create more oxygen with this system then they need the larger version of MOXIE with the large power plant. And this is still the biggest challenge for them. MOXIE's operational process involves the initial compression of carbon dioxide utilizing a compressor, followed by the application of heat at 800 degrees Celsius. So substantial energy is required for both processes. In response to this challenge, scientists are actively engaged in developing future technology aimed at efficiently breaking down carbon dioxide molecules at lower temperatures. This research endeavors to optimize energy consumption and streamline the overall process for enhanced efficiency. So, why is MOXIE such a big deal for the future of Mars exploration? The ability to generate oxygen on Mars means future missions won't have to carry all their oxygen from Earth. This significantly reduces the logistical challenges and opens the door to longer, more ambitious manned missions to the Red Planet. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up, Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more mind-blowing content.